We'll catch a break today from the uh, severe storms that will change though for tomorrow. We'll have another strong system moving in very quickly tomorrow afternoon. So watch those storms as they develop very close, probably just west of the Metroplex west of I 35 W as we get into tomorrow afternoon. So this is going to be around 3 4 o'clock. We'll see those storms developing quickly as we head into the afternoon hours. So be weather aware as we head toward the mid late afternoon hours for tomorrow. This will be a fast moving system. So those storms move east as we head towards 6 7 o'clock and then move on out of the area as we head toward midnight getting into the uh, later evening hours. Maybe a few leftover showers behind that, but we'll have at least a window of a few hours. Where we'll have that severe weather uh, for tomorrow, so be weather aware as we get into the afternoon hours. We do have that enhanced risk for damaging winds. Large hail going to be a big concern for us once again and damaging winds in that order and some of that uh, hail could be very large once again, similar to what we saw with those uh, storms yesterday evening. So we do have that enhanced risk over a large part of North Texas from Sherman to Gainesville right down through the Metroplex heading all the way down toward Waco and Hamilton for tomorrow afternoon and evening. So keep checking back as we'll make updates to the forecast heading into tomorrow. Now as we head into the overnight hours early Saturday morning, still a few lingering showers and thunderstorms around and that will be the case. I think around six 7 o'clock on Saturday morning, but won't be sticking around all day. That moves on out. Don't anticipate those will be severe. We'll have that the window for severe weather during the afternoon on Friday, and then by Saturday afternoon we'll begin to clear out a little bit, so the weekend will not be a washout for us, and it will start out cool as well. Now, we'll be around 70 today, upper 70s tomorrow, and then we won't get out of the 60s on Saturday, so it will be a cool start to the weekend, but a nice end to it on Sunday, and as we begin the month of May there on Monday, we're looking at upper 70s, probably getting back into the low and mid 80s, heading into next week. All right.